But let's begin this afternoon with the West African Examination Council that has confirmed that two papers of the ongoing West African Senior School Certificate Examination, WASI, have leaked. At a news conference, head of test administration, Ohene Mante, said aspects of the mathematics and English papers found its way into the public domain before the exam took off. The West Africa Examination Council has been briefing the media on measures taken so far. Listen to George Ohene Mante, head of test administration at WIAC. Focus on their books. Further, conduct of elective mathematics and English language papers. The cheating social media groups were in full swing prior to the conduct of the mathematics elective and English language papers online. 13 September 2021, respectively. The Council's monitoring revealed the circulation of numerous versions of questions, both printed and handwritten, on most of the groups referred to earlier. After the administration of the test, careful scrutiny of the several versions received indicates extracts of parts of the questions for Mathematics Elective 2 and Section A of English Language 2 were circulated on social media platforms. Reports from initial investigations and further information received indicate that the circulation was not extensive. Additionally, the Council would deploy various internationally accepted assessment procedures and interventions within this domain to guarantee the credibility of results. Consequently, those found culpable will be sanctioned. Then, risk scheduling offices two and one and business management two and one papers. The office has rescheduled the phases two and one and business management two and one papers originally scheduled for today, Wednesday, 15 September 2021. A new date for the rescheduled papers will be communicated in due course. However, auto mechanics two and one will be administered today, 15 September 20 at four at two PM as scheduled. This afternoon, YX says uh, it has uh, resulted in increased inspection and monitoring at the various centers. Let's look at the statement that it issued um, a while ago. It says, after the administration of the test, careful scrutiny of the several versions received indicates extracts of parts of the questions for mathematics, elective two and section A of the English language two were circulated on some social media platforms. Reports from initial investigations and further information received indicate that the circulation was not extensive. It goes on to say that additionally, the council will deploy various internationally um, accepted assessment procedures and interventions within its domain to guarantee the credibility of results. Consequently, those found culpable will be sanctioned. And it's indicated that 11 schools are under scrutiny. The schools are a Jiso Senior High Technical School, Anglo, um, Senior High, uh, Afia, Afia de Nyiba Senior High School, Tepa Senior High School, Yeji Senior High Technical School, Ken David College, Somenya Christ, the King Senior High School of Boise, Modern Senior High School, Bon, Modern Senior High School, Kentampo, Oyoko Methodist Senior High School, and Klo Agogo Senior High School. And it says strict internal controls and compliance by all staff to the security regulations of the council too, and those are measures taken so far. Increased inspection and monitoring at the various centers, withdrawal of some supervisors and invigilators from providing service for the council pending further sanctioning, and uh, scrutiny of scripts of schools where cheating has been reported, where mass cheating is established in centers, the appropriate sanctions will be applied, and five, continued tracking of rogue websites and social media cartels in collaboration with security agencies. And so the, 
Those are words from Wayek after uh, the two papers were leaked. Now, joining me in the studio for a conversation on this is uh, uh, Kofi Asari, who is the executive secretary of the executive director of the Africa Education Watch that gave a hint recently about these leakages, but the allegations were debunked by Wayek. Um, Kofi, uh, I'm happy that you are here. How does this development come across to you? Um, um, it comes well and um also um, it raises further eyebrows well because i'm happy why is um, old enough to the responsibility and um, committing to enforcing standards no matter the social or economic costs mm. obviously when you when you suspect that the process is compromised that yep. is what you have to do and so i give it to why um, um i also acknowledge that prior to this the minister of education indicated yesterday that um, the ministry is considering digitizing the process to minimize the human element involvement so that when leaks occur, or even if leaks occur, you are able to pinpoint where exactly they came from. Mm. Um, we have developed a, a policy brief on how to infuse technology into this system and strengthen it so that um, we are able to have a leak-proof system. And so we are happy the ministry is buying into our proposals as well. Mm. Having said that, let me indicate that. Um, WIAC is being a bit charitable um, with the actual situation on the ground because its image is at stake. It's unfortunate. But that is why we have, we have petitioned the Data General of the Criminal Investigation Department to investigate the source of these questions. And um, I, I, I mean, I had discussions with the, 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 with the CID a couple of, um, a couple of um, um, hours ago. Mm. Now, in the statement Wyatt issued, Wyatt yes. claims that questions in elective mathematics 2 and English 2 leaked close to the examination time. Mm -hmm. and, so, and they are saying that because they leaked when they were about to start the papers, okay. it wasn't widespread. Mm. Okay. I agree with Wayek that if questions leak 30 minutes or 45, 45 minutes to the scheduled time for examination, it may be deemed not to be widespread if they have a means to, to, to verify what is widespread mm -hmm. in an era of social media. But this is the case where we intercepted these questions the previous night. Okay. Okay. And we have evidence. And indeed, we have shown some of the evidence, a result of elective mathematics to Wayek on the platform that we intercepted it. We went there with the live platform and showed it to them that as before midnight, around 11 o'clock, okay. these questions were already in circulation. Mm. So I find it a bit disturbing um, when Wyeck says that these questions leaked just before the commencement. No, they leaked okay. more Wait, than 10 hours before, before the paper. The election. In that uh, case, it is difficult for us to say that... Um, the circulation was minimal or there was no, you know, um, wide circulation of, of these questions. Mm. And that is where I find a bit con because the same principle which, we are being, which is being used to postpone today's papers, mm. physics and then the management papers, mm. should apply to all others. Okay. So that there's standardized, or there's a standardized um, protocol being applied for all. Oh. We, we got the physics question at 4 a.m. Okay. And then we had the management one yesterday. At what's your source? The questions are sold. So okay. we also buy them. Oh, really? They are sold. From who? So if you know the people who you are buying from, yes. why are you not uh, pinning them out that so that why, they can be arrested or that, sanctioned? That is why I'm saying that I just left the CID headquarters. Okay. We've been in discussions with the CID since yesterday. Mm. Because we have been monitoring the WASI and the activities of question marketers mm. and people who have been doing the business on the ground okay. for over two months now. Mm. One month before WASI started. You understand? But the issue is that when you package the evidence and you take it to WAIEC, WAIEC will say the questions circulated minutes before the examination. Okay. When we got the questions, where people are actually buying the questions on platforms with over 100,000 subscribers on, mm. 10 hours before. Mm. Okay. So we have, we, have, we, have, we have given all the evidence we have to the, to the CID that mm. we should investigate. Mm. And then our interest is that we want to ensure that 
people within YX system who some bad elements, okay, who are taking advantage of their positions in the system, especially between the depots and the schools, mm. are dealt with, whether it's from YX, whether it's from GES. But they are the two people who normally handle the questions. The only person who has a key to the question bag at the depot mm. is a YX officer. Okay. So if questions find their way onto social media marketing platforms, mm. 10 hours, okay. 10 hours mm. before the scheduled time for writing a paper, mm. if you are asking questions or you are investigating, we definitely are investigating WIAC officers mm -hmm. and GES officers because they are the two that come into contact and then to understand the police who escort. Okay. They, they are the two that come into contact mm. between the depot. And then the the exam centers. Okay. I, I want to understand this. Is this only a problem of Ghana or is this something that we see in all the other countries that WIAC is present? It is not a problem of Ghana. On these platforms, and we, and we are present on about 18 platforms. Okay. I read WIAC's statement. WIAC is only present on only one of our platforms. Mm. So it means that WIAC is not present in about 17 of the platforms that we are present in. Mm. Only one platform that we are on with WIAC. Okay. Now, on some of these platforms, questions emerge from other countries, especially mm. Nigeria and Sierra Leone. Okay. So it is not only Ghana. Mm. It is actually a, a business that you know, that, that has been um, built over time. Okay. Our engagement, most of, the, most of the platforms indicate that they've been in this business since 2010. Mm. And um, as social media proliferation keeps um, be becoming profound, mm. um, they, they, they are capitalizing on this platform to grow their business and as much as possible make a business case. And so it is not a Ghana situation alone, but it is, it is also happening in other countries, mm. except to say that we are more concerned about the Ghana one mm. because we believe that Ghana should always be the peace setter in the sub-region, especially within the five WIAC uh, member countries. Mm. And so being the peace setter, we should uh, set higher standards and, 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 and expect the other countries to actually follow suit. That's why I'm happy that the Ministry of Education has indicated its commitment to um, digitize the process and remove the human element as much as possible so that even if there's a leakage, we are able to pinpoint yeah. uh, where issue. this could be coming from. Because when technology is involved, there's a seal which is, which is part of the pack. If you break the seal, mm -hmm. the seal, the, if you break the seal, the system communicates the GPS location of the bag mm -hmm. and then also communicates the code of the bag. Mm. So you will know that that mango senior high school, for instance, mm. I'm just making an example, mm. the seal had been broken. Okay. It was broken at 11 a.m. Okay. And broken ahead of the scheduled time by 10 hours. Mm -hmm. In that case, you're able to trace and know exactly who what? is responsible for, for the that. Mm. When we have such systems, mm. we will strengthen the accountability um, within the um, exam value chain and also improve the credibility of our examination system. Other than that, we will have challenges. Uh, thankfully, uh, we are joined by Kwesi uh, Kwating, who is the spokesperson for the Education Ministry. Um, Kwesi, I'm grateful for your time. And a very good evening to you, and good evening to my brother in the studio. Okay, Kwesi, um, uh, has it come to your notice that uh, some exams papers have leaked uh, in the ongoing WIAC exams? Okay, so with our checks with WIAC, I mean, you mean WIAC is the agency responsible for the conduct of these exams, especially at the pre-tertiary institutions. I mean, looking at exams like BEC and WASI, mm. and for that matter, our checks with them indeed uh, confirms that there has been a reschedule of today's morning papers, i.e. Uh, we are looking at faces and uh, business management, which was supposed to be conducted early this morning. Uh, but then, unfortunately, even when students had prepared for their exams, uh, the communication that came from WIAC is that the paper has been rescheduled. But of course, I mean, if you look at the press statement or the statement issued by WIAC, I mean, if you check their website, our correspondence with them, what they are saying is that uh, it was a management decision. As of now, an explanation has not been offered uh, to the main reasons why the, the, the exams was was postponed. Uh, but then let me take this opportunity to clarify uh, our stance and even the stance of why, even though we do not speak for them as a whole. I think uh, Wayek rescheduled the paper 
And then you have some impression also going out there that the paper was cancelled. You know, the paper can only be cancelled when it has already been written. Okay. Uh, in this so, case, the paper had not been written. So it's been rescheduled. Yes, students were actually preparing for the paper or the exams. Mm. And then it was scheduled. Uh, so we have to be, create, create, get that distinction uh, right. And so, yes, the communique is that it has been rescheduled even though the, the date and time that students are, are supposed to go and write the next paper uh, was not communicated to us. But we hope that as soon as possible, WIAC is able to come out clearly on the time and date that students are supposed to go and write exams. Because, I mean, as a student, when you prepare for exams and you are confronted with these challenges, certainly uh, it, it tends to even dampen your spirit. But we will encourage them that uh, they should just keep their heads high. I mean, but I mean, bottom line is that if you look at the, the position of the students, where they find them, where they find themselves now, and the decision that WAE has taken, uh, for me and we in the ministry, at the end, we feel that it was to guard the integrity of the of the exams. But bottom line is that going forward, we have to look beyond probably what uh, WAE is doing. Recently, when the education minister, the honourable Dr. I was said with you. Uh, taught some wasi centers. I mean, he was even emphasizing this whole issue about more practice and how to tackle it, where he spoke about serialization of our papers, uh, so that in the same classroom we get about 10 different set of questions uh, from students. And so you maybe you turn your right, the questions that are, uh, your friend is answering is certainly different from yours. If you turn your left to the questions that you are answering is certainly different from the other person's. Answer. So, when you bring some of this in, it tends to reduce reduce the, the, the rate at which students or there could be more practice, which could even be the grounds for some of this rescheduling and cancellation of, of papers eventually. But bottom line is that, I mean, beyond this, you also have to look at uh, electronic testing, as the minister rightly mentioned. Electronic testing, you are looking at also removing completely the human interface associated with with the contact of this exam because if you look at it i mean all the all the the, the news items all the speculations all the rumors that have been going on even i personally <laughs> check the wiac website you realize that they even acknowledges some some level of more practices in in the exams some in the classroom some even before the the, the exams and other things but bottom line is that you have to get a system that's as much as possible reduces the human interface associated with the, with the exams. And so we are looking at a model like electronic testing, mm. where your bio data has been taken, you sit beside your computer, it verifies you, then you conduct your test. If any other party, probably you turn more than 10 meters or 100 uh, radius, then the system is able to buy that artificial intelligence that to predict that you are attempting to cheat or you want to cheat. Mm. Then I mean, the system cut you off. So in the long term, that is where we are looking at but. In the short term, what the minister is proposing that YF should quickly factor or yes, YF should quickly factor is in their in their conduct of exams is a serialization. So that we have about 10 different sets of persons in, in, in the exams. But I mean just for purposes of clarity, the the the, the reason uh, for the rescheduling of this paper has not been officially been communicated. Okay, I want so, to read excerpts of the statement from WIEG this afternoon when they briefed to the press. They said, after administration of tests, careful scrutiny of the several versions received indicates extracts of parts of the questions for Mathematics Elective 2 and Section A of English Language 2 were circulated on some social media platform. Reports from initial investigation and further, further information received indicate that the circulation was not extensive. But again, so this is the reason they've given, and probably that is why the paper has been rescheduled. But if actually, they... we are looking at actually the paper that we are the paper in question here is the faces and the and the and the uh, uh, the business management. That was rescheduled. Record okay. English was written, I think somewhere Monday. Mm. So they did give a general overview mm. of the exam so far. Uh -huh. okay. So I'm sure they probably this is in reference to that, but to the paper in context here. Is the fixes and, and the business management. Which, and of course, uh, in, in coming to terms with what, what has happened uh, the last time, and that is why they are rescheduling these papers, because if some of the papers have leaked, you cannot tell if these ones too have leaked. 
So they well, have I'm, to. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure it will be. It will be fair to 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 draw such linkages. Especially okay. So when what, they what kind of explanation their, have their, you their, had? Their, their, what kind of explanation have you had from WAEC? Uh, yes, so is there more reason why that I'm saying that? I mean, I'm not here to protect WAEC. I mean, if we are having any reasons to who to protect, we are to protect the ordinary student who prepared for the exams and by by any other reason or by, by whatever reasons the person went to the exams or and their papers have to be rescheduled, even though you look at the well, ultimate aim of protecting the integrity of the exam that is okay. being conducted. Um, but the um, point is that, but the point is that as of now, no official reason has been ascribed to. Of course, mm. I mean it is it is logical, it is reasonable for anybody to 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 think that is based on these whole issues mm. about uh, 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 leakages of exams. And I mean these are possibilities. This is not the first time that we are having uh, these issues or we are having these issues coming up. But bottom line is that we, as a ministry, we are much interested in how to solve the problem. Mm. That is what the Honorable Dr. Uchum is interested, how okay. to solve the problem. We are not saying that the, the YX system on the current model is, is, a, perfect, is a perfect one. Mm. Any system or any model where you have an human interface probably play more role than, than, than the technological interface. You kind of get some of these backlashes or some of these problems. Of mm. course, I mean, reasonably, you expect that it is possible for, for leakages and those other things that may have resulted in it, even though uh, officially they've not, they've not confirmed or they've not said that. But we are more interested in how do we keep these problems going for it. And that okay. is where we come in with our serialization call. That is where we come in with our electronic testing call. Okay. I mean, but I mean, this is this is a, this is something that we do not expect. This is not something that we shouldn't encourage. But at least you have to look at the motive. You have to look at the intent. I'm sure all is to protect the integrity of the exams. I mean, Kwesi, I'll have you hold. Where... I'll have you hold because I'm coming to that. I mean, what measures you are putting in place, short to medium term? to address some of these challenges because it's become annually. But uh, he's talking about the papers that were supposed to be written that was rescheduled. You have the questions, right? Yeah, um, well, Kwesi uh, works with the ministry, so he may not be privy to um, what we are privy to. Okay. We are monitoring WASI from 100 schools okay. and over 18 platforms. Mm. And we have been in constant touch with WAEC after the elective mass paper I met with WAEC and then provided with them, to them the evidence that the questions leaked. They leaked. A live platform, not a printed mass. That is the physics uh, paper. No, the elective mass. The elective mass. Yes. And we have had engagement with the minister and the director general of genius where we also put them, we also actually opened the platform mm. for them to see how the food and nutrition tray also leaked. Leaked. Not printed matter. We open the live platform, so you go and see the data there. Okay. Okay. Mm. So we are saying that we got the fixes questions at four a.m. Mm. and it's on our on our social media handle. We wow. got it at four a.m. Wow. And the question that was actually rescheduled, <laughs> the questions were distributed. So in some schools they had some... they had the questions before Wire came out oh. to say that it's been rescheduled. Candidates had seated and some somewhere ahead. So we our monitors brought us the questions that were supposed to be written. Okay. Now the, the, our monitors brought it. So we compared the questions supposed to be written to the leaked one, which was written in mm. ink, which in was the same handwritten. Of course, I mean so. Um, the discussion, so far as I'm concerned, should not be about whether there was a leak or not. Okay. The discussion that, that, that is should focus that, on. Uh, I'm sorry, that's a quick one. I say, if I may react to this one, go quick, ahead. I mean, the, the whole point is that we want to protect the integrity of these are exams. I'm not sure the intent of my brother is to run the exams that I, I feel he's doing this in good faith and will support him. But then, just for the records, recall in YX earlier statement, I mean, let me just read a portion to you. When Eddie Watch initially came out that uh, the food and nutrition paper was leaked and it was already in the system. Let me, even before I read it, let me just put some education here. You see, with regards to the practicals paper, a lot of times the question is given to the tutors so that they are able to prepare the students in advance. For instance, if, I mean, in biology class, we are to say, uh, cut a, a ruminant and identify the parts or label the parts or whatever. I mean, just hypothetically a question like that. Certainly somebody ought to prepare that animal even before the exams. And so when such a question is in the public domain or, I mean, is with the teachers, that cannot be construed as a leakage of the question. But 
Let me highlight to you a point that Wayek, uh, Wayek made in a response earlier to the claims by Eddie Watch that the question has leaked. Listen, if I will read to you, he said, while the actual paper requested candidates to prepare, cook, and serve a three-course meal for an ulcer patient, the purported leak question paper received from Eddie Watch request for a two-course meal for a lactating mother. Look at this. Okay. Clearly different Everybody questions okay, so, between so, so, what the students wrote and what Eddie Watch is having. Okay, yes, so still, Kofi my is father here. wants to lay claim to Kofi, the fact that Kofi, the questions were leaked. Kofi is here. I, I would let him respond to that, Kofi. Kofi. That's fine. Yeah. But we are not running that way. But the bottom line is that we have to have a conversation about discussing it. It's not about creating an impression that the whole system is bad. No, I mean, I'm not sure anybody leaked. is creating that impression, uh, Kwesi. But, but at, at least for the records, I mean, Wyatt reacted to that, that the questions they are holding is an entirely different from the questions that the students wrote. Okay, Kwesi. I mean, Kofi should come on on that. Kwesi. We, should, we should let us know his position on Kwesi, that. Kwesi, okay. um, I indicated that we had a discussion with the minister and the director general of GES and his deputy. And we granted them access to our Telegram platform. And we showed them the time we obtained the questions. I did not say instructions. At least I am competent enough to differentiate between instructions for a particular paper. I mean, don't, 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 don't use semantics here. No, no, no. no I'm, I'm, I'm saying that. Oh. Give, give me. Give, has been linked. No, no, no. Wait, 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 not I. We are a team of over 80 monitors. I uh, monitoring the uh, uh, monitoring from about 100 schools. I know the difference between the instructions for a practical paper, the instructions for a project work paper, and then the questions themselves. So please, I'm saying that we had an engagement with the minister and the GSA general, and we proved to them that the questions for food and nutrition trade, I did not say instructions, instructions the questions leaked. And so we I'm have uh, no, no, wait, no, wait, 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 let him, let him wait, land. I'll and, give you the opportunity and, to also respond. And on, and on that day, we made the, the post, the screenshots of the question for the food and nutrition tray on our verified Facebook handle. It's still there. You can go and check it. And on, on that same accord, we have also submitted today to the, the data general, the CID, the evidence that the question, not your instructions, question for food and nutrition tray leaked. So please, come on to the table and let's have a discussion on the real issues. Aisha, Aisha, okay. Aisha, and, 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 and don't, don't, don't be speaking to okay. YX, what YX used as an excuse to, to, to daze you. Okay. Okay. All right. We are not so talking mean, about I mean, we are not talking be, about be, instructions. Be, be that is not fair. Okay. Oh, don't divert attention from the focus. All right, so Kofi. So let let Kwesi also come in. Kwesi, uh, yeah. So let. And I'm surprised you're talking about instructions. Mm. I mean, come on, come on, come on, Kwesi, come on. Your boss knows this. Come on. Okay, Kwesi. Kwesi, let's hear you. When one party holds an entrenched position, as soon as you do that, we are unable to move forward and solve the challenge that is available. Okay, let's move forward. Nobody is willing now. Nobody is ruling out the possibility that questions can leak. As we've admitted in every activity, in every system where you have human interface, these are possibilities. Mm. The, the solution is that you address it head on. And I've, I've, I've made you So what's society. your shot to medium? I'm coming with the, with the serialization and the, 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 the educate, uh, how do you call it, the electronic testing. Mm. But back to what Kofi was saying. Listen, what I said, while the actual well, people are requested like. to prepare cook and serve a three-course <laughs> meal for an ulcer patient. Mm. The purported leak question paper received from Edward requested for a two-course meal. What? Well, mm. I mean, what is the instruction so, Okay, so they this are is talking something... about exam specialists. So this I'm, is something I'm, I'm that... I'm surprised the use of semantics to confuse us. I mean, this, which is... But... This... Okay, so you said we should move forward. So this is something that you need to come back to the table and trash, just like Kofi is saying, because, I mean, all we all need is a solution to this matter. And that's why I'm asking, what is your short to medium term measures taken to address Aisha, some Aisha, of I was, these issues? I was coming there. I was coming there. I mean, but then, then there's a quick one. You mm. see, let's be realistic here. Which institution, ordinarily, that wants to promote cheating and leaking of exams will go and form a Telegram page, Constitution of Nigerians and other, other people, to cheat in an exams? Mm. 
clearly, these are rogue individuals that may want to take advantage of students and, and exploit them. Yeah, you know, so I they, mean, they, there's, I'm coming, the syllables are there. Any person that has studied syllables, any examiner could even look at the syllables and predict the questions. When I was in Conongo at Man Senior High School, I knew that in biology you would clearly get osmosis. Or, yes, or you but you definitely can't like, get it exactly are, the yes, way Wayeko said the it, questions. So we've all written those 10, exams about, before. Yes, there are about 10, 15 why are you denying the leak? Why are you denying the leak? Um, you can't solve a problem that you are denying. You can't solve a problem that you keep denying. So be honest. Just be honest a bit. Be honest. How can you resolve a problem that you are claiming doesn't exist? Let's be honest with ourselves. He's not being fair to me. Do we agree that we want to move forward? You can't solve a problem if you say the problem doesn't exist. Yes, but I think he's admitted that it exists. It's something. It's code. It's code. It's code. This has become an annual ritual mm, which uh, we need to address that's why i'm asking uh Kweti, what are the short uh, to medium terms that the ministry of education so uh, the YH, measures that you are YH putting Sipla, in place to address YH some Sipla, of these for issues instance, in yh circular for instance they came out with a short term solution i mean i, I mean clearly especially with the angle years and what you need to do is to tighten the monitoring and the supervision system what you need to do is, I mean, those schools that you have hints about leakages and other things, you quickly move in to make sure that the system is really tightened. You have to follow these rogue websites and rogue individuals, report them to the police and other things. Mm -hmm. But that will not cure the problem ultimately. Okay. In what the ultimate cure? term, what the Minister of Education, Dr. Yawa Osei Ekutu, is proposing is that we should, and it's about time to raise a conversation about serialization. What do you mean by serialization? So that in the same classroom, in the same test center, where there are 100 students, at least we have 10 different set of questions. I mean, so that at the end, you are unable to look at your right or left and ask. Mm. At the end, there is no motivation in even teaching or, 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 or because let's say you read the question. So this, has is, been uh, this, is, this is about leakage, not like copying yes. when the exam is yes. in session. So, so I was coming there. I said, you should have allowed me to land. Okay, I'm saying that in the, in, the, in, the even, in the situation of even leakage of question, it's not possible for you to have see all the 10 questions being leaked. If today you have question A being leaked, what about the other, other nine set of questions? Mm. You are not even sure which one you are going to even do. So there is no even motivation of even going to probably leak the question. That is what the innovative way that the Honorable Minister is using in addressing the problem. Mm. When Edward met us, when Edward made the education minister, I mean, that's all this whole discussion came. When Edward proposed about digitization and other things, he said, yes, I mean, these are all good news. These are all welcome. But, but when we are looking at serialization, Serialization as a means to stopping or addressing this challenge ultimately. Okay, we are so looking at it, electronic testing in the in the long term. So in the short term, the minister even on Monday proposed that YEX should factor in that concept of serialization. Yes, which means is an admission in the first place that okay. even the minister acknowledges that in an exams like this where you have a lot of human interface. You can have some of these backlash and some of these challenges. So factor in means what? Factor in means what? I mean, asking Wayek to factor in some of these means what? Yes. Yes. So, so I mean, if you look at the the, the establishment of Wayek and, and this mandate, I mean, Wayek has been in existence since I think 1952. Yes. And is an independent institution with credibility. But of course, I mean, you have some of these backlashes coming. And as an institution like that, when you want to have reforms, certainly it will have to be a stakeholder engagement and consensus. You do not just call why and say that, though. I mean, just like Kofias has come to your studios and all of a sudden proposed okay, that Wayek okay. does A and all of a sudden is that. What it means so is that... So when are we going to I have mean, the, the stakeholder the, engagement? Because the issues are not waiting for us. We need to resolve that, them. That is that is the kind of conversation that the Honorable Dr. Eruchu has started. And okay. he's saying that it's about time we factor in, we look at serializing our exams. Are you able and to give so us timelines uh, as to when I we can have you, the serialization? I, I am telling you the conversation has already been provoked by the Honorable Minister. Okay. And what it means is that the Honorable Minister has even admitted, and that even shows or demonstrates a kind of honesty that he, okay. he admits that... The, 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 in an exams like this, where you have human interface, these are all challenges that could be possible. Okay. And he did not only admit, but he proposed that 
we should be looking at serialization in the short term. Yes, we well, I mean, I think, I, think, I think we are we are we are all on that level that yes, serialization so should come in. But when is when, it and I'm coming? That that, and I'm saying that that conversation has even been started as mm -hmm. soon as the minister raises it up and challenges why it means that the conversation has started. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy with Kofi Asare, his contribution. To, to, to this conversation and this dialogue and this discourse. Mm. Bottom line is that we are there to fix challenges when there are challenges with leakages, when there are challenges with more practices. We are the supervisory body who we'll get wired to fix it, but ultimately we believe that serialization will stop the problem. Okay, so you, you, you haven't told me exactly when. I mean, you should have a target. Aisha, I, I, I keep yeah, telling you that the conversation has even been started so as soon as you, the Honorable you, Minister raised it. I have an idea about that. Okay. So um, yeah. you, you've started yeah, the conversation, I, 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 but... I am, I, I am aware, and let me indicate that. You see, we are having this discussion today because over time, we've not had adequate political will to confront this matter head on. Okay. Okay, so regime after regime, we brush it under the carpet, mm. and now it has become a monster. Okay. So I am happy that His Excellency indicated in January in his first sooner mm. that he was going to reform the system. Okay. And the minister has been unequivocal in proposing the, his tech solutions and mm. also the, the serialization. I have had discussions, several discussions with the minister. Okay. And I think that the serialization is one of the short term measures that can be adopted. That can mm. be started next year. Okay. But that one, you don't need any money, millions of dollars to invest in technology. Okay. It's just serializing. We are in one room, but there are 10 different batches of questions. Mm. So if you want to get proper leak, get all 100 questions. Okay. Impossible. Mm -hmm. So that's fantastic. Okay. And I am happy that that commitment has been made because it is not easy to admit this fault you know, and then solve it when people are reading all sorts of meaning into it. Into it. But my issue is that for us to address the issue head on, mm. we shouldn't play ostrich okay. and, and try to water down the situation. Mm. We are monitoring the situation. Mm. What we find is what we put out and engage the ministry. Okay. Every day there's a leakage. Mm -hmm. I communicate to the minister. Yeah. Sometimes 12 midnight, I call okay. him. Okay. Because we are worried. That's the only way we can help resolve the matter because mm -hmm. the leaks happen at midnight. Okay. So please, it is not part of our um, terms of reference or engagement strategy to water down or to sensationalize the issue. Mm -hmm. We speak to the issue as it is. Okay. For example, look at what I'm talking about. Have you heard us on any radio station or TV station talking about electric mass leaking? No. No. Commerce leak, sorry, um, um, English leaking. No, we haven't gone public on any of the leaks since the first one because we realized that when we go public immediately, the focus, instead of it being on the policy and operational remedies being developed to forestall the occurrence, is rather to defend WIAC, defend WIAC. Mm. So we stopped that strategy until WIAC themselves came out today to admit mm. that there's an issue. Okay, oh, please. so we, see, uh, we all problem. agree that the serialization will help us. Is this something that uh, we can get in, in action next year? Because Kofi is suggesting that it's something that can work out by next year. And I mean, this question, you've asked it. I'm saying that the conversation has been started wow. and as soon as possible, it will be institutionalized. I mean. Let me let me let me give you one character. I mean, Kofi will confirm it. I mean, the Honorable Minister is a type that as soon as he takes an action, he makes sure that he really finishes it. Then we hope that I mean the, the same will be applicable when it comes to this. I mean, this is what Kofi can attest. All right. I would like to thank you, gentlemen, attempt. for uh coming on board. Uh Kwesi uh Kwating, spokesperson of the Ministry of Education. Kofi Asari is the executive director of Africa Education Watch. Uh, this is a conversation that will continue on PM Express because there's a lot to digest on this one. And so you want to stick with Joy News for that conversation. But also, there's been a lot of comments on this one on social media. I want to get on Facebook and read a few of the comments there for you. And uh, where do I start from? A number of comments there. So I would look at them and then I'll read a few of them for you. Okay, so as and when I get the questions, I read them for you. And I start with Noah Nati, who, is, uh, who says, people are doing every evil thing, every evil thing um, possible to discredit the good efforts of this government for their own political gains. And that's Noah Nati there for you. Uh, there are more of the comments there. K 
King Lofty says, when will you people stop the lies? Too much of everything is chronic disease. Okay, so I don't know who is telling the lies right now. Jata Selikem says, find their way, pa. The papers now have legs. And Mukhtar Muhyiddin says, in which way? Okay, so that's a response to finding the uh, papers, finding their way. Uh, a lot of the questions are on Facebook. And if you log on to our Facebook page, you can read more of the comments for yourself. 